Hello friends, welcome back. We are going to understand the design principles for the cognitive systems in this session and it's going to be very interesting. We have discussed all the fundamentals in the previous sessions and I hope they were interesting and you have gained a lot of insights from that. Let's get into the design principles for the cognitive system. Please understand one very important point. What is model in the cognitive computing? Very simple, what is the model in the cognitive computing? It is the corpus. We have been explaining you the term corpus in the past couple of sessions and I hope you have understood the fundamental definition of what corpus is. It is the corpus which is to be referred as the model and please understand the set of assumptions, the algorithms which generate and score the hypothesis to answer the questions which are being raised by the users, to solve the problems which are posted by the users or to understand the insights we need the corpus. And the set of assumptions as I told you, the algorithms will also come and play the role. All these come together. It is very important for you to understand how do you model the world. We are getting into a very important part. We need to understand how do you model the world. What kind of predictions you can make, the patterns, the anomalies that you can detect and the actions that you can take for the predictions or for the anomalies that you have detected. The initial model, I mean the base model, is developed by the designers of the system, but the cognitive system will update the model and use the model to answer questions or to provide insights. The system evolves. The first base is laid down by the designer. He has built the base, but over and above that, the system evolves. And that's cognitive in nature. It learns, it evolves. Initially, it may not be able to give you the best of the results, but over a period of time, it will learn and it will evolve and it will give you the best of the results that you are anticipating. The corpus is the body of knowledge that the machine learning algorithms use to continuously update that model based on its experience. Please understand, the corpus is the base. I'm telling you right from the beginning, corpus is the base. The corpus is a collection of knowledge. It's the body of knowledge which is being used by the machine learning algorithms or any AI algorithms for that matter that you are creating. And it updates continuously based on this content in the corpus. So we have to understand the importance of the corpus. We are also going to discuss how do you build your own corpus in the future sessions, but understand corpus is the body of the knowledge. A cognitive system is designed to use a model of a domain to predict potential outcomes. A cognitive system is going to use a model. The model is built by you initially. The model can get evolved and this model will be of a particular domain and that will help you in predicting potential outcomes. That's all. You are going to use a model for the cognitive system which will predict the outcome and this will get itself updated periodically. The learning happens. Designing a cognitive system involves real multiple steps. You need to know the data in the hand. You need to predict the kind of questions that would be asked. The creation of a corpus which is comprehensive enough to support the generation of the hypothesis is very, very important step. You are going to build a corpus. You are going to create the data pool. And how do you do that is going to play a real major role. And a cognitive system is fundamentally designed to create hypothesis, the understanding from the data and analyze the alternate hypothesis and determine the availability of supporting evidence to solve the problems. I will repeat it. A cognitive system is fundamentally designed to create hypothesis. From where? From the data. And it will analyze the alternate hypothesis and determine the availability of supporting evidence to come up with a solution, to come up with a uh, come up with an answer to solve the problems. It is going to suggest you a solution, but it is all based on a particular flow which I have conveyed you. It is going to analyze, it is going to create hypothesis, it is going to also analyze the alternate option available, and then it will give you the final solution based on the evidence. That's it. Now, let's get better. With the advent of the growth of the machine learning algorithms has been tremendous. Question analysis has been growing. Advanced analysis on relevant data is also getting better with more algorithms, be it structured or unstructured data. It doesn't matter really. A cognitive system with the growth of 
all these can provide the end users with a very powerful approach to learn and to make a decision. It can really support the end users to come up with excellent learning. Updation will happen, upgrade will happen, and it will give you the best of the results and the decision making will happen at the best extent. A typical cognitive system uses machine learning algorithms to build models for answering questions or delivering insights. We have been talking about NLP, we have been talking about machine learning, we have been talking about deep learning. So all this combined to get a cognitive system working, but mostly machine learning algorithms are highlighted here. Just, just a point of sight there, which you can understand and which you can use a little later as well. Now, please remember the design of a cognitive system needs certain characteristics to be followed. When you are designing a cognitive system, you cannot go just like that. You have to go ahead and understand few things. First one, how are you going to access, manage and analyze data in the context? I'm going to handle a huge volume of data. How am I going to access the data? How am I going to manage the data? And how do I analyze the data? You are going to generate and score multiple hypotheses based on the accumulated knowledge. You are going to get the hypothesis generated based on the knowledge. A cognitive system may generate multiple possible solutions to every problem. I told you earlier, no cognitive system will give one solution for a particular problem. There could be multiple. And you need to understand that that's the best feature of the cognitive system. A cognitive system can generate multiple possible solutions to every problem and it can deliver answers and insights as well with associated, with calculated confidence level. It can tell you that I am confident about 99% for the solutions. I am confident about 80% for the solution. I am confident about 50% for the solution, enabling you to select which one is the best for you based on the confidence levels that the cognitive system is exhibiting. The system continuously learns. The system continuously updates the model based on user interactions. You teach it. You are training it. You feed input. It's like how ChatGPT learns from you. The system is going to evolve continuously. A cognitive system gets smarter, gets stronger, gets bulky in its data over a period of time in an automated way and it gets itself updated. That's the beauty. Cognitive system never stops learning. It continuously evolves, it continuously learns, and that's the beauty that you have in front of you as one of the very important features of the cognitive system. Now, I have already highlighted the components of the cognitive system in a very detailed session. I'm just representing it here for you to have a quick look at it. We are not going to explain it now because we have already explained it a lot. Each section has been explained a lot in the previous, uh, the previous discussion that we made. So just have a look at it. This would help you in the next session that we are going to connect as well. This is the blueprint that you can call. The picture that I have presented you is an architecture or a blueprint you can call. Just go through the components that I have presented. We are going to talk about it in detail as well. We have discussed the fundamentals also in the past. This is just to get you a picture. Well, we are going to the next session shortly and I hope whatever I have conveyed till now was meaningful and understandable. If you have any questions, post it in the chat. I'll be happy to clarify. Thank you.